Uh, first of all, let me start by saying, uh, you know, as I told Tim DeRuiter after the game, uh, I'm really impressed with that football team. Uh, we, we were impressed with them all week. Uh, you know, we thought we could get off to a fast start. Uh, you, you, know, you play them, it's 12.30 in the afternoon, their time, 1.30 our time. Uh, we did get off to a fast start. Uh, a couple things, you know, I think that is a very, very talented football team. I, I don't think anybody would argue with that. Um, uh, you, know, you know, we did get off to a fast start, um, had some adversity in the first half, but we created our own adversity uh, to a degree. You know, we faked the punt. We get the ball down there to about the 20-yard line. Uh, we end up missing a field goal. That could have been three more points. Uh, we come back. We have a play-action pass to Saquon Edwards down the field while BR still in there. Could have been a 70-yard touchdown. It wasn't. It needs to be. Uh, we come back. Destry drops an interception. It was a short touchdown. Um, uh, then we lose both quarterbacks, as you saw in the first half. Uh, you, you know, I told our players, uh, I'm not sure we really embrace the adversity at halftime to the degree we needed to embrace that adversity. You know, you're coming out there in the second half. Um, you know, let, let's face it, um, uh, we, we know where we are. Uh, you know, there's not a quarterback in this program that was recruited in the last three years. You know, there's been five quarterbacks that have left. Uh, we have B.R. Holbrook, who's a 50-year senior that I love him. I give him so much credit. Then there's no quarterback, no quarterback, no quarterback in three classes. And then you have a true freshman and a kid that walked in here this summer. So faced with that in the second half, I didn't think we had braced the kind of adversity that we knew was coming. You know, they, they started to heat it up at the end of the first half. Uh, we really couldn't stop them in the second half. I think you saw the talent they had at wide receiver. Uh, they, they made some tremendous plays on us. Uh, but I'm proud of our team. I uh, couldn't be more proud of this team. Um, um, you know, I thought our guys really played well at times in the first half. I thought our defense uh, did some good things. Uh, that's a team that had 69 on Colorado. That's a team that had close to 700 yards on San Diego State and 54 points. Uh, you know, they've lost to Boise on the road, Oregon on the road, and Tulsa, who has one loss on the road. Again, it's disappointing because we really did get off to a good start. Uh, we weren't able to capitalize. And then in the end, uh, we, we didn't respond enough to the adversity we had. Uh, but, uh, you know, I look at guys out there competing. I look at Tim Foley catching those punts. I look at Tim Foley out there fighting his rear end off. I look at Matt Raymer, uh, Freddie Young, uh, Destry. Uh, I, I'm, really, I'm really proud of this team. You know, we have four games left. Uh, we've got a lot of adversity right now. We've got to find a way to win. That's all it is, whatever it is. Uh, you know, if Lamar Thomas is the quarterback, if Casey's the quarterback, um, I guess six quarterbacks because Vega was here in the summer too. Uh, so um, that's what it is. But I'm not disappointed at all. I'm not discouraged at all. Uh, some things are going to take time. Uh, I knew we would be in this situation uh, at, at different periods throughout the year. Honestly, surprised we haven't been in this situation a little bit more. But I love this team. I love these guys. And... Uh, um, took that ball and scored at the end of the game. You know, Crusoe Gongbe made some plays. Quentin McCown grew up a little bit. Lamar Thomas made a play at the end of the game. Um, a lot of positives. Kicking game, we covered punts pretty good, although Ben shanked a punt, which really hurt us the second series, of, the first offensive series of the second half. You know, we shanked that thing, and they have the ball on the 35-yard line. Uh, but a lot of positives in this game that I think we can build on. Um, so I'm anxious to get back in here tomorrow and let's see who we have and let's uh, let's try to get a plan together because I know this football team will stay together and try to win. Okay, guys? Officially, what is the injury update? I'll go with BR. Uh, 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 BR had an AC, I believe, separation. Um, it's going to be a while. Uh, Cole had a neck injury. They took him to the hospital, uh, MRI'd him. The MRI was negative. Uh, in fact, he's on his way back here now. You know, it's kind of your worst nightmare. You know, you lose both those guys because, you know, once the option phase of it was really gone, they're pretty stout up in there. You know, they're not like some of the teams we've played that you can rely on running dives up in there. Uh, we lost Dylan Farrell the whole second half. He didn't play a snap in the second half. So it was Lamar Bratton, 
at center, and then Adcock was in. Uh, it hurt us losing Dylan Farrell too. Uh, so, um, so we've got some we've got some injuries. So do other people. It's just probably ours affect us a little bit more than than some other people. Yeah, and he, he gives us some size in there, you know, some height. And they're an odd, by odd, I mean a 3-4 defense where they play a big stout nose guard in there. Uh, but you know what, Lamar Bratton, he's fine. He came in there and played, and Garrett Adcox played, and Calvin McDowney. Uh, really, we're quite fortunate that that's the first offensive lineman that's really missed, except for Corey and having the ankle. Um, so I, I don't think that was the difference in the game, obviously. I mean, we, we were going to have a hard time running it up in there on them. Uh, you saw we did have some options early in the game where it's, you know, we had some things coming out of there with the quarterback. Uh, then with BR, we tried to continue that a little bit, although not as good. Then you lose BR, and we don't have enough option package with Lamar in the game. You know, we, we just don't have enough. So I think this week, you know, that's going to be that's going to be a big uh, a big uh, area of conversation for us is, is where do we go? Because Quentin McCown, I appreciate him. Uh, he's, he's not quite ready for this, although that was good work for him just to play. Uh, I hurt my wrist a while back, and they um, they just decided that I needed to get the surgery done. So I had it yesterday, and I actually put some pins in there, and uh, it was dislocated, and I tore two ligaments. And it was better to get it done now because I've already waited a long time, and if I'd have waited till the end of the season. Plus, if I go out recruiting, Joanne won't be there to button my buttons and stuff. So it was good to get it. It was good, to, good to get it done. So I had the surgery yesterday morning. Coach, Anything else? The side passing plays, the receivers were able to get some separation. Yeah. Just there to connect. Was that repetition? I saw the same thing. You know, we, we you know, it's, it's frustrating. You know, we, we had a chance to, to have some plays made in the passing game. Uh, you know, again, we're a work in progress. Uh, you know, if BR is not in there, and BR missed. Quintel, uh, or uh, excuse me, um, uh, Saquon. Uh, you know, we've missed some plays in the passing game, and that's one thing that other team doesn't miss. You know, they go up there in a big 6'5 receiver, and they're throwing it. They had a 90-yard touchdown pass where it was, it was two guys going up for the ball, and they come out of there, and it's a 90-yard touchdown pass. So, you know, it's a work in progress for us. It's a work in progress, and, and um, you know, we just got to keep plugging away. You saw it. You know, that's uh, – and i tell you what, anybody that plays them, um, you know, like I said, uh, it was 35 nothing against Colorado in the first quarter, Fresno. Uh, you know, they played Rocky two weeks ago, and uh, it was 54 points and 600 yards. They are talented. That quarterback, uh, it was a chess game. You saw early in the game, we had him confused a little bit. Uh, you know, then they got settled in, and they made some good adjustments. Uh, they're, they're, they're a talented, but the point is, uh, we all see it. If our offense against a team like that can't control the ball, make first downs, then we're going to struggle. We're going to struggle on defense. And, um, you know, all of a sudden when there was no option game to go to, and when you're just kind of running Casey up in there and, and, you know, there's not a lot of option, they sat on us pretty good. Uh, but that's a good team. That's a good team. They deserve all the credit. They came back. You know, they were on the road. They came roaring back, and they beat us.